are looking at a hot day today. Of course, we're about to enter the hottest part of the year as we go into early to middle July with average temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And today we're a little bit warmer than that. And of course, as we say, it's not the heat, it's the humidity as it feels more like 100 degrees outside. Taking a look at the radar, nothing really going on out there. We've been tracking what looks like some sprinkles on the radar, but checking all the surface observations and of course the sky view showing those clear skies here across Hampton Roads. The main batch of rain remains well out towards our west with a front that stalled right here through Ohio and it's not going to make it here. Just going to have more heat and more humidity over the next few days. Easterly wind keeping coastal areas down a couple of degrees. Get that little sea breeze out along the ocean front. That certainly helps on these hot days, but the rest of the evening, just a muggy evening under mainly clear skies. That'll be the case later tonight as well. A little bit of a southeasterly wind tomorrow. So once again, coastal areas will be a few degrees cooler than those inland spots, but another hot day. Temperatures climbing up to around 90 degrees or so. Low 90s inland spots likely in the mid 80s right near the coastal. Line. And by tomorrow evening, maybe a little bit of patchy fog trying to move in or some low clouds coming in off the water as temperatures drop a little bit more into the 70s. Now for Independence Day, 4th of July on Wednesday, winds shift a little bit more and that'll keep temperatures down into the mid to upper 80s. I still think Futurecast is overdoing the chances for any showers as we get into the afternoon, but we can't totally rule that out on Wednesday. Just that slight chance, we'll say about a 20% chance of an isolated shower, and those odds will go up a little bit more on Thursday as temperatures climb once again. Mainly clear skies up in Hampton. Our camera at the Chamberlain, 92 degrees. East southeasterly winds at 9 miles per hour. It's a 96 at the Great Dismal Swamp National Wildlife Refuge. Again, you can see a little bit cooler, and we talk oftentimes about that thermometer at Cape Henry being up a little bit higher, but even Oceana at 88 degrees, Lynn Haven 93, 94 in Carrollton, 92 back in Surrey. 91 Langley, though it's 87 down around the Fox Hill section of Hampton, 86 in Cape Charles, 90 in Hudgens, 92 in Mollusk, and it looks like 90 degrees in Elizabeth City, 92 in Belvedere and Hertford. Temperatures in the 80s along the Outer Banks of North Carolina. So for tonight, mainly clear, muggy and warm, 76 degrees. Southeasterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And tomorrow, notice those temperatures climbing up to 90 degrees under mostly sunny skies. Heat index or what it will feel like, likely 95 to 98. And then for 4th of July, 87 degrees. There's that 20% chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Those odds go up a little bit more on Thursday, 89. 91 Friday, and as we get into the weekend, it looks like a cold front will finally start to approach, giving us a good chance at some scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday, likely knocking those temperatures back to the mid-80s for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. You're welcome.